one of the things that I've noticed with people coming home is that people who haven't deployed assume automatically that that's a positive thing. Welcome home, you must be so happy. And for a lot of folks, that's not necessarily true. Coming home can be very difficult. Um, and sometimes people don't want to come back and they'd rather be back in theater. Um, I certainly wanted to come home, but I could understand some of those perspectives. Um, for me, the, some of the things that I experienced as part of the adjustment was, uh, you know, even with uh, the minimal sacrifices that I made as a psychologist, um, there's a sense of entitlement that, uh, that risked getting me in trouble. So, um, yeah, you start noticing who is and is not wearing a combat patch and feeling inside you, even though there's no legitimacy to it, that they may or may not have a right to uh, tell you what to do. Um, I remember when I was coming home on R&R, &R, there was a, an NCO that was barking orders at these soldiers getting off the plane, uh, all of whom were coming off a flight from Iraq uh, on their way home for R&R. &R. And uh, the NCO had no combat patch, and I felt this... Uh, real anger inside thinking you know you know essentially what right do you have to tell these guys to bark at them in such a manner when they're really finally getting to take a deep breath and and, and relax um, so a little bit of entitlement uh, irritability and then I was surprised that uh, a few times I was just kind of overwhelmed by the noise of kids that when kids were um, Multiple kids are in the room making a lot of noise. There was a couple of times where I just had to leave. I was just overwhelmed. I just needed some peace and quiet. Um, and again, I'm not really sure why that was, but that was my experience. And then finally, irritability with people who, um, who hadn't deployed or were civilians and uh, talked about the experience with strong opinions that were really not grounded in any personal experience of theirs. Um, that made me very irritable. And that actually uh, decreased in how often that happened uh, over time. Now I kind of uh, accept it as uh, you know, a natural part of people discussing current events.